A trip through Birdie World is a magical trooping of colors, feathers, spots, and stripes. If you're fascinated by beauty, you ought to explore the world of birds. From those with incredible eyelashes to the ones that look like tiny cotton balls. Here are the top 20 most amazing birds in the world. Paradisia. This genus is found on the island of New Guinea, as well as nearby island groups of the Aru Islands, Descatrantano Islands, and Araja Ampat Islands. The plumage of the males includes characteristic, grossly elongated flank plumes. These are the long, curved feathers which emerge from beneath the wings. They also spot a pair of wired-like feathers that emerge from the end of the tail. The flank plumes are used during breeding displays to attract a male. Seleucides. They are found in the flat lowlands and swampy forests, particularly throughout New Guinea and Salawati Islands in Indonesia. The male has a red iris, long black bill, and rich yellow trails along his sides. From the rear, these plumes emerge 12-ish blackish wire-like filaments. The female is a brown bird with black barred buffy underparts. Their feet are strong, large clawed and pink. The display dance of the 12 wired bird of paradise is called wire wipe display and is performed by males to attract females by showing their flank plumes and bearing pigmented thighs. This is one weird flamenco bailando. Hit the thumbs up sign if you agree. Sininurus. This king bird of paradise is a common and wide ranging species. It is distributed throughout lowland forests of New Guinea and western satellite islands. Some populations range quite high into the hills and lower mountains, but these are still not well known. The adult male has an overall metallic crimson color, slightly orange under certain lights, and more particularly so in the crown. They have a narrow, dark green shimmering breastband with a whitish lower breast and green-tipped fan-like plumes on the shoulders. The feathers of the undertail and mantle are olive brown with lustrous green tips and violet legs. Bills are ivory yellow. Females have a dull olive head and upper parts with yellowish underparts and violet legs. Lyrebird. The lyrebirds are large passerine birds, amongst the largest in the order. They are ground living birds with strong legs and feet and short rounded wings. They are generally poor flyers and rarely take to the air except for periods of downhill gliding. The superb lyrebird is the larger of the two species and the third largest passerine bird after the thick-billed raven and the common raven. Albert's lyrebird is slightly smaller at the maximum of 90 centimeters. Kuel Raj. This bird is among the smallest of the Hawaiian moho, but not the smallest species, just over 20 centimeters in length. The head, wings, and tail were black. The rest of the upper parts were brown, becoming rufous on the rump and flanks. The throat and breast was black with white bearing, which was particularly prominent in females. The central tail feathers were long, and there was a small tuft of gray feathers under the base of the wing. These beauties have since become extinct, but we can never fall short of beautiful birds. Hawk-Headed Parrot The red fan parrot possesses elongated neck feathers that can be raised to form an elaborate fan. This greatly increases the bird's apparent size and is possibly used when threatening. It generally lives in undisturbed forests, feeding in the canopy on fruits. It has a dark brown face with white streaks, a bare back patch around its brown eyes, green wings, flanks and tails, and red and blue bared breasts. While juvenile birds tend to be docile, adults can be particularly ill-tempered, stubborn, unpredictable, and strong-willed, showing extreme aggression towards humans and other birds housed with them. Marvelous Spatutail A Peruvian resident, this species is found on forest edges in the Rio Uchucamba region. It was first reported in 1835 by the bird collector Andrew Matthews for George Lodges, after whom the genus is named. The marvelous Spatutail is unique for having just four feathers in its tail. Its most remarkable feature is the male's two long racket-shaped outer tail feathers that cross and end in large violet blue discs or spatules. They can move them independently, like some big boys in my neighborhood do with their chest muscles. Rhinoceros Hornbill This is the national bird of Malaysia and the state bird of Sarawak in the same country. Some Dayak people, especially the Ibonic groups, believe it is the chief of worldly birds or the supreme worldly bird. The plumage is predominantly black with white legs and vent and a white tail with a black band. 
The huge bill and cask are orange and red, the color coming from preen oil rubbed on from the preen gland above the tail. The eyes of the male are red with black rims and white with red rims in the female. King of Saxony. The adult King of Saxony bird of paradise is approximately 22 centimeters long. The male is black and yellow with a dark brown iris, brownish gray legs, a black bill with a bright aqua green gape, and two remarkably long scalloped enamel blue brown plumes. These could be independently erected at the bird's will. The unadorned female is grayish brown with barred underparts. The male's ornamental head plumes are so peculiar that when the first specimen was brought to Europe, the plumes were thought to be artificially attached. Rifle birds. This is a medium-sized bird measuring up to 34 centimeters long. The male is a velvet black bird with elongated black filament flank plumes, a shimmery blue-green crown, a wide triangle-shaped breast shield with central tail feathers. It has a black curved bill, yellow mouth, blackish feet, and a dark brown iris. The female is brownish with dark spots and buff bars and a white brow. The young male resembles the female but with less tail plumes. Males use their shiny feathers and smooth moves to attract females. When the breeding season arrives, he will select a perch and call out to nearby ladies. When one arrives, he will raise his wings, puff out his chest, and dance around while bobbing his head back and forth to show off the blue feathers. Are some of your family members like this? Do tell in the comments section. Greater Sage Grouse Adult greater sage grouse have a long pointy tail and legs with feathers on their toes. The adult male has a yellow patch over each eye, is grayish on top with a white breast, and has a dark brown throat and a black belly. Two yellowish sacs on the neck are inflated during courtship displays. The adult female is molted gray-brown with a light brown throat and dark belly. From roughly March through May, males gather on lakes at dawn. Taiwan Magpie Taiwan blue magpies are not very afraid of people. They can be found near human residences in the mountains or newly cultivated lands. They are extroverted and are usually found in groups of 3 to 12. The birds often fly in a line popularly referred to as a long-tailed formation. Similar to other members of the crow family, they have a raucous call which is described as a high-pitched crackling chatter. Paradise Wida the long-tailed paradise wida are known to be brood parasites for laying their eggs in the nests of other songbirds. Furthermore, they usually roost together in flocks during both breeding and non-breeding seasons. Males develop the ability to mimic songs of their hosts. Studies show that female widas respond more strongly to songs mimicked by males of their own species than they do to closely related species. Females use this mimicry to eliminate among potential mates and prefer those raised by the same host species. Scarlet Ibis This is a species from the bird family Threskinothornidae. It inhabits tropical South America and parts of the Caribbean. In form, the Scarlet Ibis resembles most of the other 27 existing species of Ibis, but its remarkably brilliant red coloration makes it unmistakable. Adult plumage is virtually all scarlet. The feathers may show various tints and shades, but only the tips of their wings deviate from their signature color. A small but notable marking, these wing tips are a rich inky black and are found only on the longest primaries. Otherwise, the bird's coloration is a vivid orange-red, almost luminous in quality. Vulturine guinea fowl. It's the largest existing species of guinea fowl inhabiting primary forests of Central Africa. The vulturine guinea fowl is a sociable species, living in flocks, typically of about 25 birds. This species' food is seeds and small invertebrates. The vulturine guinea fowl lives on the ground and would run rather than fly when alarmed. It appears to be wearing a sky blue blouse or shirt with a black and white spots and striped suit. Don't you just love it? Tufted Puffin also known as Crested Puffin, this is a relatively abundant medium-sized pelagic seabird in the auk family found throughout the North Pacific Ocean. It is one of three species of puffin that makes up the genus Fratricula and is easily recognizable by its thick red bill and yellow tufts. The Aleut or Enu people of North Pacific traditionally hunted tufted puffin for food and feathers. Skins were used to make tough parkas worn feather side out, and the silky tufts were sewn into ornamental work. Currently, harvesting of tufted puffin is illegal or discouraged throughout its habitat. 
Marabou Stork Like most storks, the marabou is not outgoing and is a colonial breeder. In the African dry season, it builds a tree nest in which two or three eggs are laid. It is known to be quite ill-tempered. It also resembles other storks in that it is not very vocal, but indulges in bill-rattling courtship displays. The throat sac is used to make various noises at that time. The marabou is unmistakable due to its size, bare head and neck, black back, and white underparts. It has a huge bill, a neck ruff, and black legs and wings. Black Heron this African bird is also known as the black egret. It is best known for using its wings to form a canopy when fishing. The shade created by its wings attracts fish. This hunting technique, known as canopy feeding, was well documented on episode 5 of BBC's The Life of Birds. The nest of the black heron is constructed of twigs placed over trees in water, bushes, and reed beds forming a solid structure. The heron nests at the beginning of the rainy season. Palm Cockatoo. But first, do us a favor. Click that like button to inspire us. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell and you won't miss any interesting videos. Done then? Let's go. Also known as the Goliath Cockatoo or the Great Black Cockatoo. It is a large smoky gray or black parrot of the cockatoo family, native to New Guinea, Aru Islands, and Cape York Peninsula. It has a very large black beak and prominent red cheek patches. The bird has a unique territorial display where it drums with a large stick or seed pod against a dead bow or tree, creating a loud noise that can be heard up to 100 meters away. The vocalizations of palm cockatoos are similar to those of most wild parrots, but they also have been shown to produce a variety of additional syllables and imitate humans. Temek Tragopan it's a medium-sized, approximately 64 centimeter long bird. The male is stocky, red and orange, with white spotted plumage, a black bill and pink legs. He has a pale blue facial skin, inflatable dark blue lappet and horns. The female presents with white spotted and brown feathers, with blue circular eye skin. It appearance resembles the satyr tragopan, but unlike the latter species, it has an all red upper body plumage and orange collar. Their diet consists mainly of berries, grass, and plants. The Temek tragopan is found across the mountains of far northeast India, central China, and from northern Myanmar to northwestern Tonkin. Drop your oohs and ahs in the comment section as the beauties fly by. Which bird did you vote most beautiful? Have you ever seen one of these before? Let us know in the comment section. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comment section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.